this storytelling thing was beaten into me when I was like trying to raise money at Handshake. I was a member of a CEO peer group that met in San Francisco. Each founder got up and like did the little pitch for their business. And I got up and I was like, yeah, it's Handshake and it's wholesale. We've got this mobile app and blah, 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 blah. And I think most people in the room were like, oh, we totally get it. But one of the guys in the group was the managing partner of a VC fund and his name was Phil. And at the dinner that evening, Phil kind of like sat down next to me at the dinner. And he was like, hey man, he's like, tell me the story. And I was like, I did tell you the story. And he's like, no, 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 man, tell me something that I can like feel. And I was like, oh, he has this wholesale thing and there's the, you know, he's like, no, no, dude, tell me a story. I must have sat there with him for an hour. I literally ended up making it up on the spot. I was like, you know, when you go into a store, you want a white t-shirt in a particular size and you go to the shelf and it just isn't there. That's what we're solving. We help the companies with the shirts make sure that they get to the right stores in the right time so that when you get to the store, the shirt that you expect to be on that shelf is actually there. That's not even a very good story, but finally, Phil was like, I get it. I could explain that to my mum and she'd actually understand what you did. If you do not tell someone a story that they can see themselves in and they can like empathize with, you can say all the numbers in the world, no one gives a shit. No one's got time for your shit.